Hey everyone, it's me, Curtis Parody, and welcome to another Sims 4 house building video. Everyone, we're back building inside of the Sims 4 Granite Falls world, which is kind of a fun world I've never built in before. It's sort of like the vacation world that came with Outdoor Retreat. So I thought, let's jump into this. Let's build a really fun cabin for your Sims to sort of enjoy when they go on vacation and sort of stuff like that. So that's, of course, where we get the modern mountain view home from. Uh, it's kind of this uh, this cool sort of play on a couple of different styles that I sort of wanted to build for a while now. So I decided let's jump into this. Let's build sort of a cool modern home that's kind of like a cabin all in the same sense. So there's some parts of the cabin that you'll notice that I kind of carry through here. But there are other parts that are very modern and uh, very sort of uh, simplistic at the same way. So just sort of adding in a couple of different features here. I love the one part that I've sort of added to the front where there's sort of like these uh, balconies that go kind of all the way around. I thought that would be nice. And if you're like a sim, you know, you want to head outside, you want to kind of sit on the balcony and sort of enjoy the beautiful views that are all around you. I thought that was really cool. There's also this really uh, cool area here. This is where the main living room and dining room and kitchen will all be. And they're all suspended above like the uh, pool that's down below. So they're kind of on this like cantilever sort of section that just sort of sticks out of the main house. And uh, I thought it's really cool. You'll see that I cover it all with glass. So you can kind of see directly through it. Um, I thought it was a really cool idea and I kind of wanted to play off of that in different, uh, multiple different aspects. So kind of playing off that. More of the balconies here that you can see in that main section here and then just sort of adding in the roof parts here. You'll notice some parts around like the main cantilever are actually, um, they don't have like a railing around them, but they are balconies. You can just head out there. Uh, there's just no railings. So I didn't like the look of the railings. So I sort of sacrificed safety for railings. So sorry if your Sims somehow fall off of the uh, top of the house. Not my fault. You shouldn't have let them out there, I guess is the thing, even though I put doors on it. So whatever. Playing around with the different roof pieces here. Again, I kind of want to keep it modern at the same point. So um, you'll note that it's kind of like a simplistic roof, but um, I didn't want to make it too complicated, though I did like these different areas here that kind of like uh, sort of are separate pieces that kind of jut out from the rest of the roof here. Um, I thought that was kind of fun. Adding in different columns here. I like to accent it here. Now you notice the very dark wood that I chose here the very first time. I was kind of originally go with like a darker sort of tone, but I didn't really like the look of it once I sort of finished the house. So I do at the very end of the video sort of reskin the whole house on the outside. So um, just note that that color is not... Um, sort of a standard right now. I was gonna originally go with like a very dark tone all throughout the house, sort of like an old school log cabin look, but then I just really didn't like it because I was trying to merge old school log cabin with like new modern and it just didn't work. So I got rid of it. Uh, here in the front of the house, you can see it's all just sort of like this windowed facade because um, that's more, sort of like the main entry point into the home, there'll be a staircase there that leads up into the second floor. It's kind of interesting the way this house kind of laid out because the main floor is kind of on the second floor. Um, the first floor is just sort of empty. So the main part of the house sort of floats um, over the rest of it, which is uh, kind of a different thing. I never really noticed it because I, I wanted this cantilever sort of living room. And then I'm like, well, the living room kind of and the kitchen sort of be, should be connected because those are very like uh, communal and very family oriented locations inside of your home. So I thought, well, I guess the whole house kind of is based on the second floor. Now, I love this one area on the second floor that's sort of like the main staircase area. I absolutely love it um, just because there's like this sort of uh, it's like a catwalk that sort of connects the master bedroom to like the rest of the bedrooms. You'll see it a little bit later on in the video, but I absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favorite parts of this house. Um, I just I think it's such a cool idea. Also, the master bedroom, I think it turned out really well. It sort of has these distinct little areas in it. And I think that's really cool along with the master bathroom as well. So kind of going through here, adding some accents and stuff like that. Again, I'm going to retexture all of this. So unfortunately, it's kind of useless, but I didn't drop it because I was like, well, it's sort of important to see how the sort of building uh, structure goes, you know, how I actually build my homes, which is like, at one point it could look like this and the next it totally looks a little bit different. So you can see the kind of look I was going for though, sort of older, like darker woods and like a rich rock sort of look. Uh, and then I was playing around with different colors on the uh, roof here to see like what we could do. Um, but I just didn't like the way that it looked. I feel like it didn't, it just didn't go together very well. And I'm never, I, I don't think I'm really good with exteriors of homes. I just, I suck at choosing colors. It's not my thing, but um, 
you know, I think after I think I decided upon like a color and a choice and I think it turned out really well. So I'm really happy with that. Here you can see the pool on the main floor here. I thought that was kind of important because your Sims can't si uh, swim in the lake. So I thought, well, we better put a pool on this so that they can enjoy sort of a nice relaxing time there because that is important to them. As we see more parts here, this is the main atrium where your sims will enter into the cabin. So they sort of enter in and then they head up the staircase or they can just go straight forward and there will be like a bathroom and then there's a door onto the uh, backyard sort of area as well. Here we are on the second floor here adding in some columns. This will be the area where the uh, actual uh, sort of catwalk is. There's a staircase to lead upstairs and a bunch of other parts here. Um, I sort of dropped the walls behind the staircase there because I wanted you to see the windows through the whole thing, which was very important to me. Uh, this is the main living room and dining room area. Again, it's flanked by windows on both sides just to allow you this sort of view, like a picture view of like the lake on one side and then sort of like the woods on the other. I thought that was really important. So I wanted that to sort of integrate into the home in a certain way. This is the main area into the master bedroom there. It'll be on the second floor, kind of is over top of the kitchen area. And then uh, on the uh, the, the third floor, I guess I was going to call it the second floor. On the third floor, there are a number of other bedrooms. The home actually has up to six bedrooms, which is crazy. So if you want to bring all eight of your Sims that are in your family, you can bring them on over here and they can all stay comfortably inside of this home. There are also four bathrooms, so you never have a congestion on bathrooms either, which is kind of a nice thing. Um, so I'm just adding in a few different features down here. There is sort of like this empty room. I had no idea what to put in it. I'm just like, there's got to be a room here. So you can kind of fill it with whatever you want. I was thinking of putting like outdoor retreat themed items in it, like a, like a tent or something else. Um, just so your Sims can kind of like grab them and sort of like go and use them outside. But I never really put anything in them. So you can kind of put whatever you want. I think I'm finishing this off. That's going to be a bathroom. And then right across from it is just a simple bedroom. And then upstairs are the majority of the other bedrooms in which your Sims can stay in. Um, again, I kind of went through a couple of different revisions as to what I wanted this to look like. Because um, I couldn't really figure like a definitive look as to my interior. So you're going to notice I choose a lot of darker woods sort of to match the exterior. But then soon I will be changing it into uh, something a little bit lighter. Some lighter woods, some lighter rock and stuff like that. Um, just to play around with a couple of different things. Uh, that will be the main like study sort of office area. And this is where the kitchen will be. Again, I chose a lot of dark woods and stuff at first. So it's very, it's very dark here. I can see it in the video itself. Um, so it's kind of hard to see what's going on there. Uh, choosing some lighter woods here and sort of uh, deciding upon what I want the rest of the house to look like. There you go. You can see I'm sort of re-flooring the whole uh, floor area. There's some uh, stone on the ground there just to accent the kitchen area. I love the kitchen. The kitchen's really nice and big, which is kind of cool. So it creates like this very, uh, it's this awesome center point into the home. Because if you want to head over into the living room, you kind of have to pass through this kitchen area. And then if you want to pass, of course, into the main living area or the main uh, sleeping area where all the bedrooms are and stuff like that, you kind of have to pass through it as well. So it's kind of this central point inside of the home, which I think it really should be because it is a kitchen after all. You kind of notice you always gravitate towards a kitchen. I guess we as humans or as Sims love our food, which kind of is a part there. I built in a bar into the kitchen here because I thought, why not? It's big enough. Let's put a bar in here. I also sort of accented all of these different cabinets there on the one side and built in the actual refrigerator, which was kind of a fun thing to work on there. Um, also playing around with these different um, sort of plates and stuff like that. So I kind of accented that. There you go. I'm adding some lights in so you can actually see what I'm working on. I love. I also love how the island has this like circular end piece. I always love adding those in. I added that in, in the very first Sims 4 house that I ever did. And I thought that's kind of cool. I kind of like the way that it sort of bookends the sort of island that's in the home. So I thought I'd throw it into this one as well. Adding in some different stools here so your sims can enjoy a drink or of course eat at the sort of bar area, the island area. Um, adding in some more stuff right across here. It's just sort of like an accent wall so I didn't really put anything in here too much. There's just sort of some plates and stuff for your sims to enjoy. Throwing some artwork on the walls here because it's uh, time to decorate the walls. You can't just leave them bare so thought I'd add in a few different pieces here and there's a nice rug on the floor as well and uh, sort of accenting a few primary pieces that you need inside of the kitchen as long uh, as well. There's also a uh, sink, which is important. Sometimes I always forget the sink. I don't know why. It's just a weird thing I do. I wanted sort of a brick behind this fireplace here, but you'll notice in the end I sort of change it up. I also added in some different uh, tiling around the bottom 
of the fireplace there. Sort of doing the two-story uh, bookcases here, which I've done in other Sims builds, but I love the way that it looks. Um, well, it's not really two stories, sorry. It's like a full one-story bookcase, which you can do using uh, move objects on, which is awesome. I'm also putting, of course, the uh, the clock there that sort of accents the top there. Adding in some modern furniture here just to sort of uh, work in the main sort of seating area in the living room. I'm trying to pick different, uh, different lighting that I can choose and stuff like that. Some different lights, some different lights. There's a fun rug there and I'm gonna add a similar rug underneath the main dining room here not dining room table I thought it was important to kind of keep these two rooms sort of flowing together because again they're sort of a it's a primary sort of uh, area inside of the home where everyone always sort of gravitates towards so I thought it was nice to kind of keep it all together also what's better than sitting at this dining room table and sort of being able to see the beautiful views out both sides of the house itself, so I thought that was kind of cool. Even added a fun little boat onto the uh, top of the dining room table there, which was kind of interesting. An art easel here because I thought, you know, this is probably a pretty inspirational place to work inside of the house, so I thought an art easel, and of course there's also a guitar there if your sims are interested. Uh, doing a bathroom here, this is one of the main bathrooms on the main floor of the home your sims you'll notice i will retexture this entire bathroom because i sort of went with a i started with one theme of a bathroom and then like halfway through the build i was like i don't really like how this looks so i kind of redid the whole thing after but um for right now we're kind of going with the first choice which i didn't really like i was like i don't really like this bathroom very much i don't think it's really working but um Towards the end, I do change them, so look out for that in a little bit later of the video. Adding in some clutter-based items here. They kind of add uh, to the realism of the actual build itself. Here's the actual bedroom, adding in a singular bed here. I was trying to decide what bed I actually wanted in this room, because I couldn't really figure it out. Um, I'm going with very, like, rustic sort of look here in the bedroom. Sort of a simple rustic ideas, trying to find something to sort of accent. Oh, there's a put some candles there there's also like a, ba a backpack which could be maybe a kid's backpack or something while you're on vacation I don't really know adding in some different lights here to sort of accent the different parts of the wall and sort of light different areas on the home again here's the main sort of uh, entrance there you could see it for a brief second here's that sort of uh, central area inside of the home where the staircase is it leads upstairs to where the catwalk is entering in a cheat code there because apparently I didn't have move objects on anymore for some reason Turn that back on. Turn that back on. Um, so we're just kind of tweaking some more stuff, adding in some different lighting here in some different areas as well. There you can see the main catwalk that sort of uh, bridges the two areas of the bedrooms between the master bedroom and, of course, the other bedrooms. I love the way it looks. I think it would be such a cool part to have in the house. Like, how cool would that be to have, like, a catwalk in your home? That could be super fun. Upstairs here, sort of tweaking and adding in some basic looks to everything here. Um, sort of deciding upon what I want to do with the master bedroom here. Trying to find something uh, that would look really good. Um, I love this. I found this photo online of this master bedroom, and I love the way it looked. I thought it was really cool. So I'm kind of trying to recreate it here. Um, it has these really cool little... Um, it's like a it's like a bookcase sort of shelving like right behind the bed so I kind of recreate that here I'm also creating these like kind of two separate areas inside of the master bedroom um, that are kind of uh, like where the kind of like where the the bed is and there's kind of like this hallway area outside of it you can kind of see there's kind of two distinct rooms but it's all one room um, I kind of like the way that looks it kind of makes the room look bigger because there's multiple parts to it um, and I thought that was kind of a, a cool kind of part to have in the home itself. So uh, tweaking different parts here and adding in different pieces, of course, and uh, changing the flooring here just to sort of, sort of again, accentuate the uh, fact that there are two different rooms here between uh, inside of the master bedroom, I mean. So adding in some uh, different places there. We can put some stuff on those and then adding some uh, side um sort of storage locations there adding in some lighting and stuff like that I'm also gonna add some different shelves behind there too and put some sort of um, clutter based items on them I think I just fill it with books actually um, after I'm done sort of deciding again it's sort of like this play on like the wood and then like the white stark contrast to, like the ultra modern look and I really like the way that it turned out um, adding in some books here and stuff like that so sort of just trying to find places for all the books to go using uh, move objects on to sort of place the books properly on the shelves 
uh, which is interesting. So just sort of place them all together there. And of course, I'm going to retexture them there so you can kind of feel that they are different uh, colors as well. It's kind of interesting to look at. Some more paintings and stuff here, guys, to sort of look at and sort of... Uh, sort of tweak and adding some different, more clutter-based items just to make it feel more realistic inside of the home, adding some different lighting around here. I just love the way this works. Like you enter into this room and it's sort of like a room within a room. Like you're like, oh, it's just a room. And then you walk in and you're like, oh, there's like a master, there's like a bedroom area. There's like this hallway area that connects like the balcony in. And then of course there's the bathroom off to the side as well. So it's kind of an interesting way. I kind of like the way that it's sort of played out into the home. There's also those doors that lead out onto the sort of, it's the flat roof over top of the main living room area and the dining room area. Now again, it doesn't have a railing around it, so it's not really designed as a balcony, but of course it's designed that you're able to go out onto it. So um, that was sort of the main thought process there. Um, adding in a, a different clothing armoire there for your Sims to sort of get dressed in the morning and a fun rug on the floor as well. I like the circular rug, the stark contrast between the circular rug over top of the rectangular uh, bed. I thought that was kind of fun as well. Playing around with space here, the master ba uh, bathroom. It didn't have a lot of space to play with here, but I sort of, uh, I like the way that I sort of worked it all out. Um, I kind of put the, the shower into this little nook that's around the corner, which is kind of interesting. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and then again, playing around with the different locations for everything here. I was originally gonna cover I wanted to put the sort of sinks and faucets there, but then I was like, I can't put the glass uh, mirror all the way across because of the door. So then I decided to put it into the other nook and then I could fill the wall with mirrors. It gives this like bigger appearance, right? When you're uh, sort of in the space, mirrors always help with that. If you have a very small space, mirrors are always a nice addition. It makes them feel much larger than they actually are. Adding in a few little stark uh, art pieces here for your Sims to enjoy, of course. Well, they're in the bathroom. In the bathroom! You can kind of see I start to play with this sort of modern wall uh, covering here. It's sort of like this wood paneling on the wall. You'll notice I sort of carry over this sort of aspect into the rest of the home very shortly and keep this sort of um, very bright modern look into the home because that was uh, something I really enjoyed. I looked at it and I'm like, I like the way this looks. I'm going to carry this into the rest of the house. And you can see I'm sort of starting to place it here. Um, sort of deciding upon what I really want this to look like and how I want this to play. Even changing the columns to sort of accent that so that they're not as dark inside of the home. So this point, I was just sort of retexturing the entire house to sort of follow this new sort of look. So again, just sort of retexturing, retexturing, sort of re-changing, uh, of course, the, the uh, banister there so it's kind of a, a brighter color. And again, retexturing everything because everything was very dark and I was like, I don't really like the way this looks. So... I decided to do something a lot lighter inside of the home, and I think it turned out a lot better. Um, so there you go. So we're adding some modern, more modern doors in here as well, um, and keeping with a more modern theme, because I like that. I think it's kind of nice to be, it's a little bit more modern. It's not as dark. It's not like the classic cabin look, but it still has a lot of elements of the cabin that you would think of, like the woods and of course the uh, different accents that sort of add that up. You're still like, I'm still in a cabin, but it's not like, you know, in the rustic dark woods cabin. Um, we're still kind of nice. Found these really cool lamps. They look like plants, but I was like, these are cool. So I kind of threw those in there. There's also TVs inside of the guest rooms. So your Sims can enjoy some TV maybe later at night, which is kind of nice. Um, this room has two single beds, so you can stick kids in it if you would like. Go, kids! Go into the bedroom. Of course, uh, be right across the hallway here is just another single bedroom um, with a armoire in it, so your Sims can get ready and get dressed and stuff like that. Sort of some accent photos on the wall as well. Changing the lighting here just to sort of, again, match, and I think I'm going to change this flooring in a second um, just to match it as well, unless I already did. I think that actually might be the final flooring. Uh, upstairs, this bathroom sort of, this bathroom sort of sets uh, what will be the downstairs bathroom as well. I sort of play around with some different ideas here. I love these sort of, um, they're sort of arched glass windows. I sort of put it in there as a separator. So you kind of create, I love the idea of like different, you're not really separating the room, but you're creating the idea of separate areas inside of this room. So again, there's sort of the area where we have the sink and the sort of main, um, whatever it is, the main cabinet area, there we go. And then uh, there'll be a toilet right across from that. And then right across there 
is actually, no, I guess I think I put a tub there. Yes, I do. So it's sort of like the sink and the tub area. And then there's the toilet and the shower area that are sort of divided by these little walls. I like that. I think it creates this sort of, it makes the room a little smaller. I do get that, but it also creates like an extra dimension inside of the room and kind of helps because sometimes the rooms are a little too big, which can be a problem. Here we go. Just retexturing the downstairs bathroom to sort of follow in the new theme of the rest of the bathrooms inside of the home. Cause I like to keep them all in the same sort of theme. Um, I think that's important along the way. So we're just sort of retexturing and retexturing everything along the way. You can see me just sort of bouncing between floors because I'm basically just like using the eyedropper tool to like copy and like paste. I'm like, I want the same bed. I want the same this. So I kind of do that. Changing the, uh, the actual main kitchen into sort of a darker, like a blacker look. And then with white cabinets, I thought that was kind of cool to sort of black bottom cabinets and white upper cabinets. I thought it was an interesting stark um, sort of change between the two of them. Also, I retextured the floor, so it's sort of this lighter wood color, which I thought was kind of fun and very important. And you'll see that I think I extend that wood all the way through this main area of the actual home. Adding some different lights over top, the red, I think that's kind of fun to have like a little accent color, the red. Uh, red plays off of the black pretty well, and I guess I didn't like the white. I thought I kept that as white, but I guess I didn't. Changed it to an orange, which again plays off sort of like the wood textures, because orange is very much based in wood. And apparently I didn't like the black either. I thought I left that as black. Apparently not. I don't even remember what I did in this house, apparently. Great. Uh, changing the main um, dining room table here to sort of like a black and white contrast, I think is what I leave it as. Again, I don't even know. It's been a while since I actually built this house, unfortunately. It's uh, just been a long time with the video in creation mode. Changing again the uh, different colors on everything here, sort of lightening everything up itself and sort of uh, getting everything into its own places here. Um, what else do we got here? There's some uh, changing the fireplace there to sort of a red look and now it's back to white. Okay, great. <laughs> Thought I was gonna leave it as red. I was like, that's a nice choice. I like the red. Oh, it's gone. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Here is the sort of study, sort of uh, office area inside of the home. In case you know you wanna go on vacation but you still wanna do some work, got you covered here. There is a small little office area for your Sims to enjoy and uh, sort of read on. I wanted to put these shelves all the way across because I thought this was kind of a cool idea to have just like a wall full of shelves. Um, and I think I keep it like that. I think I threw a, a, I throw a few sort of items on it. I don't think I throw anything else though. Um, you can fill it up with whatever, whatever items you wish. Because of course, don't forget, you can of course download this house and add it into your game on the, um, on the gallery itself. So if you want to, you can go and check out the gallery. Um, it's on there. Now there is a link in the description down below. So check that out. And of course it is free to add this into the gallery. I don't use any uh, custom content if you're wondering about that. Though of course it will require outdoor retreat. So you will have to buy that pack in order for this to work properly. Um, if you have just the base game, I don't know how this will work as for you. There's probably going to be a couple items that are missing from it. And obviously you won't be able to place it in this world, but it, all, it is all uh, free to add into your game. So uh, check that out and add it into the game for yourself because uh, I think it's a great addition into your game. I think your Sims will really enjoy it. So once again, link in the description down below. It's completely free. And of course, that's all available on the Sims 4 gallery, which is built right into the Sims 4. So it's awesome. Also, of course, once you're on my page, don't forget to check out all the other content that I've posted on there. Again, it's all free. So it's kind of a, a nice little addition there. Sort of retexturing a bunch of different accents here. You can see me, I told you I was going to retexture the outside and uh, here's sort of a direct result as to that. I'm sort of pulling what was sort of the design on the inside up to the outside, sort of, uh, I'm like, well, if it's going to be modern on the inside, it better be modern on the outside. So I'm just sort of playing around with different wallpapers here because I couldn't figure out what I wanted it to look like for the longest time. Um, and I sort of decided on this sort of like lighter wood color and then like a white sort of like a play off each other to keep it really light and airy. And I think the way it turned out, I think I really like that. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with the way that all sort of turned out here. But there was lots of things I had to retexture, including the different columns all around the house here. So that was sort of difficult as we went along. Um, I'm also going to redo the uh, actual uh, top there. There you go. I sort of put in this metal. I kind of like the way this metal looks because it's sort of it reflects, it has like a reflection quality, which I think is really cool. So um, I like that, like the way, if you kind of pan around this house, you get a different color on it, um, no matter where you go. So I thought that was kind of fun. I thought that was a little bit different. And um, I personally really enjoyed that. So um, there's a couple of different things here, just sort of retexturing again, all the way through um, and showing off different parts of the home here. 
uh, changing some more parts, some little accents here. There's a little little accents that are all over the place that I sort of had to recolor to sort of match everything else. Um, all the way along. There's like a cool, there's kind of a deck that sort of protrudes out from the main area. Again, it doesn't have any sort of railing around it, but your Sims can sit on it and enjoy if they want. I didn't put anything on the deck there, but um, feel free if you want to, when you add this, um, you can add whatever you want to the house. You can change it however you wish. It's yours at that point. So um, yeah, just sort of do what you will with it at that point. Again, changing a few uh, little pieces here and uh, stuff like that. I will be uh, putting some sort of, it's like a smaller garden I kind of put in the main area there by the pool. There's also gonna be um, sort of like a, a bar and stuff like a bar and a grill, which I thought was kind of important because if you're outside, you're sort of enjoying the outdoors, you kind of want to grill and stuff like that. You don't want to be just inside. What's the point of going on vacation to this place if you're just gonna stay inside? I think that's kind of useless, so. Almost done retexturing the exterior here. Just kind of have to do the main columns in the front of the home there as well at some point. Um, adding in a doorway to the outside in the backyard sort of area. Um, again, retexturing, retexturing. So much retexturing of everything. Lots of retexturing. Uh, just sort of get this lighter theme. I also have to redo the different stairs there because they're sort of still in the darker theme and the uh, actual railings that go around. There's the railings right there and then we're just sort of finishing off the different wallpapers and stuff for some reason the staircase was being weird here so i kind of had to replace the whole thing i don't know why i was doing that it was really strange but whatever strange little glitch inside of the game i guess is what you can kind of classify that as so now we're here we're kind of tweaking the pool i kind of made the pool a little darker of a color i like dark pools it's just one of my things i don't know why i kind of like maybe the idea that it kind of acts like a pond maybe maybe that's what i'm kind of thinking of i don't really know but Again, tweaking some stuff here, applying uh, textures from the top floor onto this main other floor here and just sort of tweaking some stuff. This is the bathroom that kind of is right off of the main area. You can see that other room that's there. I, I didn't put anything in it, but you can feel free to put whatever you wish. I love this rug. It's sort of like an orange and a white. I thought that was kind of fun. And I sort of pulled that sort of color into the rest of the room here and sort of made all of the rest of the items sort of like this orange color. Uh, there's this main seating area here, which is kind of fun. So when you kind of enter into the home, you can kind of have a seat, kind of sit down. I kind of treated it almost like a hotel, um, or maybe more like a bed and breakfast sort of idea. Um, but it's kind of a nice thing. This big painting here, I sort of resized it. Now be aware when you download stuff off the gallery, some of the things that I've resized may not be the same size anymore. It's unfortunately a glitch that kind of comes with the gallery. So sorry guys. Outside here doing the main um, actual, uh, it's like a bar and a, um, and a grill location. So your Sims can kind of enjoy that sort of grill. Um, I kind of keep the same sort of uh, island sort of motif where it kind of has that circular aspect. I was trying to figure out a way to sort of integrate this um, grill in, but I just couldn't figure it out. So I just kind of ended up putting it at the end there. Um, some more uh, different places for your Sims to sit there. I kind of went with a more like rustic sort of look. And then I put a bunch of different art pieces on the outside here. And I thought that looked really kind of cool. Some different neon lights. And of course the fork and the spoon. I thought that was kind of a fun decorative item there. Some different lights here to sort of accent this outdoor area. So your Sims can enjoy it when the, it's a little bit darker outside. Also a nice place for your Sims to eat while they're outside. Because if you just grill something up, you don't want to go inside. Also considering it, like the dining room is on a whole separate floor. So thought that was kind of a, a fun little addition there. The pool here, just adding some accent lights, kind of keeping it pretty simple. I didn't want it to be too complicated. Um, and then of course I was gonna put one of the decals on the floor there, but I just ended up not doing that. Uh, sort of tweaking it here, adding in some rock accents here where your Sims can walk and stuff like that. Um, and then uh, adding in sort of this fenced area around the main area here, just sort of trying to figure out how I want that to look. Um, some different archways to enter in there. So it's kind of like the separate area, but it's not really separate because it's just kind of open. Um, also adding in some different trees here to sort of group in the lot with the rest of the world around it. So that's kind of fun. I love these tall trees within this game now. I think they're really fun. I think they're really interesting. Um, your Sims are really gonna enjoy it. And it gives that really interesting feel that we are in like this deep woods. And I think that's important inside of the game, so. Adding in some more rock here, just to sort of accent the different areas inside of or outside of your home. Um, some more shrubs and stuff like that. I do play around with a couple of different um, plants and stuff like that around the home, just to kind of keep it all integrated here. Um, I do add some plants right at the end of the pool as well, so it kind of 
uh, creates this interesting divide between the two different spaces there adding in some more plants here more plants um, some shrubs and stuff like that on the ground there these fun uh, little sunflowers here I kind of accent those and I will put a little, uh, little fence around those as well to sort of show off the little kind of it's like a little garden a little accent garden some rocks in here to sort of play it off and some more sort of wild looking flowers here nothing was overwhelmingly placed with like str strategic placement just because I wanted it to appear more sort of rustic so here we are here is the final look at the house this is the front of the house here when your sims sort of walk around the world they can kind of walk right up into this house um, it's kind of an interesting look here. Here's a shot from the actual lake itself as well. We kind of uh, pan around here. This is the main pool area for your sims to enjoy and sort of relax. You can see the lake sort of down there. I think that's really kind of a nice view for your sims. This is the main entrance atrium into the home for your sims to enjoy. And of course, the upstairs with the kitchen, the dining room here, and the living room. I love the way they sort of all flow together. I think it's a really cool way that the home sort of works. Here's that main catwalk area for your sims to enjoy it kind of a I love the way that works here is the master bedroom again and of course a uh, shot of the master bathroom as well and we have one last shot as we sort of lift off over top of the home and over top of Granite Falls well, everyone, hopefully you enjoyed this brand new Sims 4 house building video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button as it really helps me out. And of course, subscribe for more Sims 4 based content coming in the near future. You can also find me on the other social media networks that I am on. There are annotations on screen right now. And of course, check out all the other series of videos that I create. There are annotations right below me. And of course, links to all of this in the description down below. Also, if you want to add this brand new house into your Sims 4 game, check out the Sims 4 gallery. There's a link to my gallery gallery down below and of course you can download this house and add it into your game completely free. Once again, thanks everyone for watching. I'm Curtis Parody and happy simming.